Hi guys, it's Marco Schwartz here and welcome to this new Open Home Automation video tutorial. So in this tutorial I will show you how you can wirelessly control a relay that is connected to an Arduino board. So what we will do is connect one relay module to Arduino. We will add the CC3000 Wi-Fi module to this uh, project and finally we will control everything from our computer using a Node.js interface. So I will guide you through these different steps and of course as a reference you can always go to the Open Home Automation website where you will find a detailed article about the project. So let's dive into it. So first we will see what are the different elements on this project. So first we will have one important element which is the Arduino board and we will use an Arduino Uno and to this board we will just connect a simple uh, relay module just here and this relay will actually directly control an um, LED okay just here and then attached to this uh, Arduino we'll have the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip CC3000 and this Wi-Fi chip, we will use it to communicate with your Wi-Fi network and with your computer. So I will just uh, directly in another color, I will put here, this will be your PC. And these two are going to exchange data. And on our PC, we will have uh, our node.js um, interface. And I actually developed um, a library called AREST that can handle all the communication between uh, the CC2000, the PC and Node.js interface. So we'll see it will be really easy to interface uh, the, these guys. And then on, on, the, on the computer side, um, we will see how to control everything via a graphical interface. So we'll basically have uh, two buttons on and off and we'll just have to click on these buttons um, with this interface when you're on your PC and you'll be able to control um, your relay remotely so of course this can, this can be anything you want to connect to your relay it can be an LED but also a lamp or any electrical device so now we will see how to configure everything um, and assemble the hardware components so now we will see how to configure our hardware. So we have an Arduino Uno board over here. We have a normal breadboard over there. And then we will add this component, which is the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. And finally, we also have our relay module. And we will also use some LED. And along with the LED, we will have a standard uh, resistor. So the first step is to place everything on the breadboard. So first I will place the CC2000 Wi-Fi module uh, just over there. Then I will um, put the LED on the breadboard and directly attached to this LED I will put my um, uh, resistor just right here. Perfect. So now I will also place the relay. The relay I will connect it directly to uh, the Arduino board. So I will connect this pin to pin number eight of the Arduino board directly. And we'll take care about the power later. So the power will connect um, The VCC coming from Arduino, we'll connect it to this red pole rail, just like this. And then we'll have the ground, which I will connect to the ground pin, the, this blue power rail uh, on the breadboard, just like this. And now I can connect my relay. Um, also, this black cable goes to the blue power rail and the red cable goes to the red pole. So now I got my relay free connected. 
Um, now I will just finish with this uh, LED and uh, relay. So I will turn it the output pin to of the relay uh, to the LED. So it actually lights up when uh, the relay is, is on. So usually, as you can see on your relay, there are usually three output pins. One is uh, the common pin, one is NC for normally closed, and one is NO for normally open. And here I want this pin come will be connected to the main uh, supply voltage of VCC, and the other one will go directly to the LED. Uh, so when the relay is on, the LED will also be on. So this one, I will connect it to um, the red, power rail, let's just let that. This one will go to the LED, so to the resistor, and then I just need to close the circuit by connecting the other pin of the LED to the blue power rail. Just like that. Good. So now the, the last thing I need to connect is this guy, the CC3000 uh, Wi-Fi chip. So this is quite complex and I really recommend you to look at the schematic to do that but I will just do it live for you. I just changed the handle of the project so you can have a, a better look. Um, the first thing I will do is take care of the power. So as you can see, the ground is just here. So you can turn that directly to the ground. Uh, I will do the same for VCC. It's just the third pin. You can connect that directly to VCC, just like that. And then you have all these other pins. So I will just first uh, put a jumper wire into each of these pins, just like that. And then the final step is to connect all these tables. So just be with me. You have to connect these guys are the SPI pins, so it starts from pin number 13 of the Arduino board. And then you just have to continue, so this one is pin number 12. That one is pin number 11. Then you have pin number 10, just like that. Okay, and then the, the two last uh, tables. This day here goes to pin number five and the last table goes to pin number three. So this is how it should look like at the end. Quite messy, but again, please refer to the schematic to get the whole picture uh, for this project. Okay, guys, so now we will see how we can figure out our Arduino board so we can control the relay via Wi-Fi. And after that, we will see uh, how to start the interface that we will use to control our projects just by pushing some buttons on your computer. First, the Arduino sketch, I loaded the sketch that you can find um, on the GitHub repository of this article and this video. So just refer to the article on open automation to find the link. And you will get this and you just have to modify some things like entering your uh, Wi-Fi uh, password and uh, name. That, that's mine, of, of my home. And then you can just go ahead and uh, compile the sketch and then upload it to your Arduino board. And now it's uploading, now it's done. So now you need to open the serial monitor to actually get the IP address of uh, the Arduino board uh, and the CC2000 chip. And it takes a while, but you will see that in a moment, the IP address will be displayed on uh, the screen. So here it is. So this is what we need, this IP address. I will just trip it. And first, actually, we will just test um, the Arduino board and our projects just by using the web browser. Okay, so now 
we are in Safari, so that's a web browser I will use for this uh, little trick demo. And you can just now go to uh, the IP address of the board. This is the one we, we saw before. And actually this, uh, this arrest API that we are using for this project, you can simply type digital slash a slash one. As you can see, it's, it was already set in my system. So it immediately activated the ID uh, and the relay, of course. And then I will just put it to zero to, to switch it in. And I will also show you the message that's uh, returned by this API. And this is what we will use later um, in the Node.js app to actually uh, know what, um, what's coming back from the project. And now, if I put it to one again, I can see the relay immediately turns on and back to zero. So now we are already in the last part of this project where I will actually show you what to use the interface. So in the article on Open Automation, you will find all the details about how to configure the interface because you need to set up also your IP address uh, in there. But basically, I am at the point where I downloaded all the files from the GitHub repository and I'm just ready to, to start the interface. So I will just do that by typing node app.js. And you can see it will say listening on port 2000, that's good. And it actually send the request to the um, ball that we um, uh, defined before, right? This is the IP address of our project. And it said device added with ID one. This is the ID that we define in the sketch. You can use whatever you want. And now we can simply go um, back to uh, a web browser and we can type uh, localhost 3000 because we are listening on port 3000 in the node.js app. And you can see there is a very simple uh, interface with an on and off button. And I will just try it. You can see I press the on button, the relay turns on and the ID turns on and off. I just play with it a, uh, a bit more. On, off, on and off. So this is the interface running on my computer. Of course, it's responsive. So I can access it from my phone, for example. Uh, inside my home and it will work just as well. You can access with your phone, tablet, whatever, and it will always control your, your device via Wi-Fi. So this is already the end of this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, of course, there are many things you can do to improve on this project. For example, you can connect um, more sensors on or other relays to the project and you can have your mini home automation system uh, that you can control wirelessly on a single Arduino board. And also you can have many of these boards inside your home. So you can, and you can all control them from a single interface on your computer. So if you like this tutorial, please uh, just comment below, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And of course, don't hesitate to visit the corresponding article on the Open Home Automation website. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.